Hey guys, my name is Marta, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Cold Comfort Farm by Stella Gibbons. This is a British modern classic that tells the story of Flora Post, a girl who's orphan and has to move to the south of the country to live with some family members. When she gets there, she finds out that what she had been told about them is true, they live in this old farm that has been inherited by the family century after century and they all seem to be stuck there. Flora then finds out that the reason why they cannot move away from the place is because they claim to be cursed and the oldest living family member of the family says that if any of them decides to go away of the farm she is going to become crazy and then die. It's a book that really plays with the trope of city girl moving to the countryside and with the contrast that she experiences after having lived a completely different life. It's a book that really exaggerates the southern country life trope and that also really exaggerates the farm living lifestyle since our main character Flora claims that every single of the family members have all these animalistic traits that in a way encapsulate how they have been living as if they were uncivilized people. It's a book that we really get to see how our main character stay in the countryside begins in a way that he finds pretty difficult to live since he hasn't grown living like that and he isn't used to live surrounded by fields and animals and working with them. However, Flora's life in the countryside starts to change when he realizes the reason why the family isn't moving and she decides to change the situation by trying to change the family member's life. So she's going to either try to match them with people that will make them go away or try to find them a job. Flora Post then becomes some sort of Jane Austen's Emma and she tries and succeeds with meeting her own plans. He's a very strong-willed person, he has a very strong mind and he is willing to do anything to accomplish what he wants. He is overall a great character, he is a very funny person to read about and I think he's a character that anyone can have a great time reading from the perspective of. And speaking of perspectives, one of the most interesting things about the novel is the narrative style. Stella Gibbons is a master when it comes to narrating a story. Almost all of the scenes begin with this very wide description of the scene that in a way feels as if you were reading the setup of a play and that in a way also helps with the exaggeration of the story. After this initial setting, the perspective and the narrative style moves usually to our main characters, so we really get to see how he interacts with the rest of the people and we get to experience as readers the contrast when it comes to lifestyle that he is experiencing. With all those descriptions of the atmosphere, the author also manages to put the reader right in the middle of the scene and to really, ma really make you feel as if you were a part of the story and that is something that I personally really appreciate in books and that is something that I really liked seeing in the novel. When it comes to the characters, as I have already said, the character that, that we really get to see the most of is our main character Flora. We really get to see how ma he manages and succeeds to manipulate every single member of the family, even those ones that seem to be more headstrong at the very beginning. And you really get to see how this very young woman manages to change an entire family's life. 
when it comes to the rest of the characters, they all also have their own personalities and even though they are not as well crafted as our main character, it's easy to distinguish them from each other and it's very fun to see how they develop as a person because of Flora's appearance in their lives and because of her manipulation in a way. Overall, I would say that this is a book that you don't have to take very seriously while reading. It is, as a novel, a huge exaggeration of southern tropes and of the contrast that a character is going to experience when moving to the other half of the country. It's a book that it's not hard to read, it's a book that is going to make you have a good time and that is going to be very entertaining to read. And it's, the most importantly, a book that is going to feel like something very different from what you've read before or at least that happened to me. Overall, I gave this book 3.75 stars, uh, almost 4. I really enjoyed its comedic tone and how the author played with narration and comedy and used exaggeration in order, in order to make this story more funny. I had the impression that Stella Gibbons was an amazing author that really knows how to set up a the tone of a novel and I am personally very excited to see what else she published and to read more from her. Uh, the thing I enjoy the most about the book, as I have said, is both our main characters and the comedic tone and I would say the book is worth reading just for getting to know Flora as a character. He is an incredibly smart young woman very strong will and I think she has become one of the most fun fictional characters I've read about this year. So would I recommend this book? As I have said, yes, this was a great read and I think it's a cool, easy, fun classic to read if you are looking for something that is going to make you have a good time at the same time as you enjoy a good short story. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me down below if you read Cold Comfort Farm or anything else by Stella Gibbons. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and all if you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. And I hope your day is gonna amazing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!